Hello Earth Signs, this is going to be your daily reading from June 26th to the 30th. I hope you're doing well. Okay, in this particular reading we're going to be going over your energy with your lover, okay? Um, uh, what's the analysis? First things first, if you are interested in a tarot party, I am doing tarot parties this summer. You can check that out in the link description, description below. There's a link there, okay? Um, also, if you want a personal reading for your own personal situation, you can also check out the description. There will be a link to my website, okay? So, Earth Signs, I have added something new to the dailies. I've added these affirmation cards, okay? I think they're really cute. Um, I've been pulling them for each of the signs, and I think for the most part, a lot of them do go with the reading. So, let's see what yours is. All right. So, yeah, sun, moon, earth, infinity, all that is infinity, I am thee. Okay, this is a mantra for healing. Air signs got this as well. So, if you're dealing with an air sign, they got the same affirmation. This is, to me, talking about abundance, okay? Um, this is also talking about as uh, below, as as above, so below, okay? So basically, you are the universe, the universe is within you, we are all connected, you are connected to abundance at all times, you're just either open to the abundance or you're shutting yourself off to it. Um, and how do you shut yourself off to it? You shut your, yourself off to it by really being closed off to other sources of your abundance. Like, um, some people, for example, I know a lot of people who have like Sun in the sixth house or Saturn in the sixth house, they are very stuck on making money through work like menial jobs like labor or um you know call centers that type of thing this is someone who's very apprehensive to be entrepreneurial because their son or their saturn sits in the house of work okay um now if you have someone who's like me who has very capricorn a lot of capricorn placements i wouldn't be caught dead working for someone else like that's just you know like i can't literally cannot do it uh, does that block me from abundance in some ways? Yes, because I could make more money if I could hold a part-time job and actually take orders and listen to people, but I have a hard time doing that. So it could go both ways. It's not uh, negative on one or the other. Um, it all is about your personality type, okay? Um, but also being open to other sources of income or just abundance, okay? It could be love. It could be for some people who are stuck on one relationship and they don't want to open up to another one happens all the time that's why a lot of people watch tarot readings okay so let's get into the chakra deck for you and your partner to see what's going on um energetically well chakra based things if any blockages or just tell me a little bit more about what's going on between you and your partner okay earth signs this is from june 26th to the 30th for earth signs let's see what's going on earth signs all right, so we have impartial, and we also have the discovery card at the bottom of the deck. You guys know that this is my card representing the divine masculine, okay? Um, this could also be someone going through a spiritual awakening, but usually this talks about the divine masculine energy for me, okay? So with the impartial thing here, this is stalemate energy. This is a lack of moving forward, okay? If you can see the two buckets, the buckets are heavy, okay? I'm assuming these are heavy buckets. <laughs> so the person is moving slowly, okay? Or they're really not moving at all. They're impartial to the connection. They're not really making any moves or you're not, okay? This could be a Libra in a individual, okay? Because like I said, Air Sign's got that affirmation card. Or this is just someone who's not moving forward. This could also be the Earth sign, okay? The, three, the two buckets always makes me think as well that somebody might be dealing with two people, okay? Um, I don't know why I'm drawn to the, the bucket that has paint on it already. I feel like someone needs to let, obviously needs to let go of one of these uh, people. So that's the problem is someone doesn't want to make a choice, okay? And I also feel like you and your partner may not be speaking as much throughout these couple of days because there is the impartial energy gives me the impression that uh, someone is kind of putting their foot down, okay? It could be you, Earth sign, or the person you're dealing with, and they're coming to the conclusion that they're no longer willing to deal with the stalemate energy. They want things to move forward. So someone's going to have to do a lot of soul searching um, and a lot of, you know, getting a lot of enlightenment for the spirit in order to move this connection forward. I feel while one person is impartial, okay, this could be you or... Uh, your partner 
the other person's ready because we have the impatience card down here okay but someone is being impatient um and not saying as much anymore because i feel like there's someone who's tired of telling this person like hey i'm ready to be in a relationship so this is definitely the energy of two people taking time apart okay because one person is ready to move forward the other person is not and the person who is ready to move forward is no longer going to accept little they're not going to accept the minimum okay they're ready for higher levels of commitment okay so that's what's coming up for the energy oracles okay i mean not energy oracles the chakra deck this is going to be the energy oracle deck that we're pulling from now okay so let's see what's going on with earth signs and their partner from june 26th to the 30th okay the energy oracles what's going on for the energy oracles all right, so we have the world card, and we also have yin and yang. So some of you are definitely dealing with a twin flame or a soulmate. Uh, who else was getting this? Water sign. So if you're dealing with the water sign, you could uh, check that reading out, okay? this The world card also represents fixed energy. So this could be Taurus, all right? This could be about you. Um, could also be Scorpio, Aquarius, or Leo, okay? Any of those signs could be relevant in this reading. Someone's ready for a twin flame relationship, but it's going to take a pretty major ending, okay? It's going to take a, a really big ending. Someone's got to end a karmic cycle. The world card is talking about faded events, faded closures, so that we can have new beginnings. It's almost like the Wheel of Fortune, okay? The world card represents the 10th house, okay? 10th house is uh, Capricorn. It is the house of the father, but it's also the house of the career. It's the world stage, okay? So the 10th house is talking about Saturn energy. Um, karma, fate, all right, things you were meant to do, all tied up, why, because someone has to end a relationship, there's definitely a twin flame or a divine counterpart, okay, but someone needs to heal, and what are they healing from, a broken heart, okay, I also feel like the person who was being, who, who was waiting, or is waiting, is also doing some healing, okay, because they walked away, and I feel the person who's been waiting, you know why this person has been trying to figure out what the hell they want um your lesson is about self-worth okay are you willing to continue to be mistreated or continue to be treated like an option when that's not something that you want okay and i've been on both sides you know what i'm saying i've been in a situation where i've been a third party you know judgment i don't care but i've been in that situation and at that time it didn't bother me you know um but then, you know, there are times where you want something more, okay? You don't want just the minimal, okay? And that's what's going on here, okay? The person who just doesn't want the minimal, it is talking about self-worth. And self-worth, don't let anybody tell you what your self-worth is, okay? The only person who can tell you what your self-worth is, is yourself, okay? Because some people can say, oh, well, you were a third party. That means you don't have a lot of self-worth for yourself. I mean, I guess. I actually think pretty highly of myself. I mean, I'm a damn Leah, okay? So, I mean, that's neither here nor there. Um, I'm also a person that doesn't get very jealous, okay? Because I do think so highly of myself. And to me, jealousy would mean that I'm less than someone in my mind. So how the hell would I be jealous? So it's like it all depends on your own thing. But the person who's been waiting, okay, your lesson here is self-worth. Your lesson is saying, you know what, I'm no longer dealing with this. You go do what you need to do over there. I'm going to go ahead and take care of myself, okay? I feel like because that's going to happen, you will eventually wind up with this person. We have the 11 here in the cornucopia. The 11 is the twin flame energy. So I feel like you will eventually end up with this person, okay? Um, some of you could be a Leo that's walking away from you or you're walking away from a Leo, Someone's got some money problems. The crazy thing is, if you're walking away from a Leo, I see you walking right back towards that Leo, okay? If you're dealing with the Earth, for Earth signs. If you're dealing with the Leo, I'm seeing you walking away from a Leo and then going back towards Leo or the Leo doing that. Let me show you guys, okay? Let's look. Some of y'all have financial constraints or, or the person you're dealing with has financial constraints and that could be why uh, the situation isn't moving forward but like the leo energy was coming up in the reverse and then i see someone like strategizing <laughs> going back towards leo energy okay um or going back towards the sun energy so even if it's not a leo i feel that someone may be walking away from the situation and then like walking back towards so this could be like a makeup or breakup and that's kind of what i'm feeling if you're isolated from this person or you're separated from this person it's so that you two can basically uh get your get on the same page and then come back together okay 
So, let's see what's going on in the tarot, shall we, Earth signs? Oh, my God. Oh, bag on wax I'm going to have to clean up. Yay. <laughs> All right, so let's see what's going on with the tarot. All right, for you and your partner, Earth signs from June 26th to the 30th, okay? with earth signs all right so we have the three of pentacles energy so earth signs <laughs> this could go either way whether this is true or not the person you're dealing with for some of you feels that you have a lot of options with the three of pentacles okay they're thinking that you have a lot of options so they're thinking that you're someone who's not monogamous or you are playing the field you may be dating or they could be doing this and they, they're thinking you're doing it because they are. It really depends. Alright. There we go. Three of Cups. Wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, someone definitely has some options here. High Priestess. Two of Pentacles. Okay. Well, look. Alright. Maybe y'all are juggling Earth signs. Capricorns. Two of Pentacles, okay? This is an action card for the Earth signs. Two of Pentacles, okay? We also have the High Priestess, okay? So the way I'm seeing this, Earth signs, you could be done with a Pisces or a Cancer, okay? Some of y'all, I'm definitely getting this energy of not speaking. So for the, the 26th to the 30th, there may be like radio silence between you and this person. Earth signs, I feel like you may not be speaking to this person, okay? Um... Or you just you just both are mutually not speaking, okay? The reason why I really feel like there's a third party, okay? Someone's keeping secrets here with a high priestess. Earth signs is coming up on your side, okay? Now, cross watchers, because a cross watcher could be watching this for an earth sign who is juggling, okay? So if you're not doing your earth signs, don't take it personal. Reverse the energies, okay? But I feel like someone is definitely juggling here. There's a secret, okay? Um... This is going to continue, actually, but I, I the crazy thing is I eventually see you two coming together, Six of Wands and the Ten of Cups. These cards ex are extra. I'm using them as outcome cards. So I feel eventually you and this person will get together, but it's either a Taurus, because the Emperor is here. I'm really getting it to the Divine Masculine, because the Divine Masculine is Emperor energy. But the Emperor, like I always say, I don't like the Divine Masculine and the Emperor energy, because it's someone who's not willing to change. The magician is willing to make the changes. He's willing to go get his high priestess, okay? If you are dealing with an earth sign who's juggling or an earth sign who's resisting the connection, this earth sign does know that you are their person, okay? This earth sign is very aware that you are cross watcher. They are very aware that you are their person that they're supposed to be with, but they're not ready to make a decision, okay? The emperor is someone who just, they move when they want to move. Or they move when a tower comes, okay? And what may eventually wind up happening is a tower may come out because someone's intuitively knowing that there's other people involved in this or they know, and I feel like that's going to come out. This juggling act, which I said for you guys last time, Earth Signs, is not going to be able to keep continuing, okay? But I'm seeing it here, okay? So let's see. Why is this three of pentacles here? Justice card. Someone definitely feels like you have options, okay? It could be a Libra. Okay, with the Justice card, or they feel you're still married, Three of Pentacles Justice card, okay? They could very well still be married, though. It could definitely be your partner who's still married, but they're thinking that you are married, Earth sign, or they're thinking that you have other people, okay? Um, now, eventually, their action card is the Three of Cups, so I feel like eventually you and this person will reconcile, but I still feel there's, there's secrets here that need to come out. Why is the High Priestess here? Why is the High Priestess here? five of wands yeah there's going to be some definitely uh there's someone either keeping the fact that they have like other options or dating multiple people um and i mean multiple people as in more than just two okay or there's going to be conflicts over a potential secret okay why is the two of pentacles here ace of wands okay empress okay uh so taurus energy coming out so earth signs, um, 
Some of you could be dealing with an Aries. Whoever you're dealing with earth signs, I feel like even if it's not you, like I said, reverse the energies, there are going to be some changes made so that you two can have a new beginning. I just don't know what they're going to do with this other person. I just don't, I'm not seeing, I am seeing potential divorce here. So if there is someone married, there is going to be a divorce with the justice card here. But that needs to happen before there's this fool card, ace of cups, empress in the ace of wands. So Taurus specifically, specifically, sorry. There is going to be a new beginning for you with someone. Um, they might potentially be married, though. Okay, so that's the thing. They are going to make the changes needed. But I really don't feel like this person is going to be completely open with you about this secret. I think that you, Earth sign or cross watcher, just someone intuitively knows. I just feel like there's no concrete proof unless you already know that you're in a third party situation. But the high priestess here suggests to me that someone isn't fully aware of what's going on. There's definitely secrets, okay? It's either for the earth sign or the cross watcher, of course, like I always say, okay? The overall thing here though is, someone is gonna to continue to keep being in a situation even though that there's a third party, okay? Even though they know there's a third party. I feel eventually there will be a third party removed and there will be a new beginning without the third party. But as of right now, going into July, I feel like the third party energy is going to continue until there's a new beginning here. Some of you, there's not going to be a, a clearing of this third party energy until about August, okay? Yeah, because we're at the end of June and I'm seeing a new beginning with you and this person in about a month. So I feel like August would be a better um, time for you and this person to have a completely new beginning without this third party energy or if there is a third party energy it's going to be more open there's going to be truth spoken that type of thing i don't feel like this is an ending i don't feel like things are over so if you're separated from this person it's because they may know that you know they know that you know about this third party okay they don't want to face it though but they are going to it's something's going to happen here with this two of pentacles that's going to make them want to change the situation and have a new beginning and leave behind their old partner Whoever's juggling, just saying. Because I'm going to have to start reading these very general. Yep, someone's down with, someone's juggling two people. Could be a Gemini, two of Pentacles, lover's card. This is coming up on the earth sign side, okay? So definitely could be the earth sign juggling. This could be an air sign they're juggling, Gemini. They're, they're juggling somebody that they are not, like, it's a lot of arguments with. Knight of Swords and the Five of Swords, this is nasty. Why would you stay in something like this? I have no idea, okay? So if you're dealing with the fire sign... Um, the fire sign, if you're a cross watcher, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, you may walk away from this earth sign temporarily until they're single, okay? This could actually play out more than just the next couple of days, okay, guys? This is a long-term type of thing right here. So if it doesn't play out over the next couple of days, I'm definitely seeing like someone walking away and then eventually coming back together, okay? They may be walking away until someone's fully single, fully divorced, justice card, three of uh, pentacles, or someone gets rid of all these other options, okay? But I definitely feel this is a person you're going to wind up with, especially if you already have children, six of wands, ten of cups. This will be a blended family. This will be marriage, commitment, stability. But this third party stuff has got to go. I've been seeing this for you guys, Earth Signs, for a little minute. I think the last read we did was talking about someone juggling. Okay, so this is just a continuation of that, all right? So I hope that this reading helps uh, Earth signs. Uh, let me know in the comments. We're going to continue to do the dailies. Um, also, make sure that you share my videos because somebody might need this, okay? Uh, again, if you're interested in the tarot parties, make sure you check out the link in the description for those. And you can also book a personal with me, all right? So bye, Earth signs. See you later.